Hi everyone, this is Pink Beauty Fox 06 here, aka Ashley. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, subscribe down below if you want to see more content from me and push that like button if you like this video. So this video today is my 365 day vlog challenge day number two. So in this video today, my topic's gonna be what a kid at heart means to me. So when I looked up online about what it means to be a kid at heart, it basically said someone who's being childish or youthful about certain things. Like if someone brought, oh, I brought your favorite cake. Oh my gosh, you brought my favorite cake. And they're like, yeah, you're such a kid at heart. That was just an example they gave. That's, I don't know, to me, that's not how I identify it with, but that works too. So basically what it means to me is just embracing your inner child, you know, loving the things you want to love, even if it's not in the norm, you know, for, especially for a certain age, and being okay with it. Um, so to tell kind of my story of how I really embrace, you know, the term kid at heart, I was always kind of like that, even through high school, you know, I was always wearing things that weren't, you know, what everyone else thought was cool. You know, even in junior high, I even had like the platform tennis shoes, like Baby Spice from Spice Girls. Yeah, I thought I was cool. And I really did until a girl goes, oh, those are so ugly. And you should take them back. So I did, because I was so self-conscious. And what do you know, one of the popular girls comes in wearing the exact same shoe. And she's like, oh, those are so cute. Those are so cool. So then I confronted her and asked her, well, I was wearing those and you told me you didn't like them. She goes, but you were wearing them. <laughs> yeah, so pop, that went my bubble. <laughs> And then, like, you know, even in high school, I was even wearing, at the time, there was lots of Blue's Clues t-shirts and, you know, a lot of, like, logo tees, like, um, oh, who knows, like, I can't remember all of them. But, like, I just really embraced the fashion at the time. You know, I was like, oh, bleached out jeans are really popular, I'm going to wear them, that's cool. You know, maybe not everyone where I live thought they were cool, but, you know, when I look at the magazines or, you know, movies, I was like, oh, that's really cute. I want to wear that. <laughs> and then when I got to my early 20s, I was, you know, still embracing it more. Like, I was even wearing the little, you know, hats like they kind of do in Japan and, like, big bows, and I was really super girly, and I really loved it. And then came like about 23, 24, had a lot of things happen all at once. And it just kind of tore me down in a way. It Part of me kind of died, not really, but just metaphorically. I just felt like a part of me just disappeared at that moment. And it took me a couple of years to really get back into the swing of that. It wasn't until I was like about 25, 26 when I met my husband that that's when it started to be an interest again. And what really, um, you know, inspired me to, you know, embrace it, I was having a really hard day with my condition of fibromyalgia and I was in a lot of pain and I was just miserable and so usually I like to watch like something funny or something more you know happy going to kind of get my mind off of it and I came across it on Netflix and I asked my husband you know who I was when we were dating at the time I said do you mind um, if I watch this you know how do you feel and he goes well I don't mind if that makes you happy that makes you happy and so I started watching it and I liked all the bright colors and the characters and I just like it started to spark and ignite something in me like wow I really enjoy this kitty stuff you know that maybe people my age would kind of frown upon 
And so I started really thinking about more stuff and I was like, you know, I would like, I really want to collect that stuff and I, you know, I still really love Barbies and I like love Disney a lot and I'm like, I want to embrace that, you know? And so I finally had a heart to heart with him, really sat down and said, hey, you know, I've really thought about it and I really want to be able to embrace this. I just feel like this is a part of me that's been lost and I, I just want to see how it goes. And he, you know, really supported me and said, if that makes you happy, I'm with you. I'll even do the stuff with you, like watch the shows and, you know, go with you when you want to buy the stuff, like the toys or the dolls, whatever it may be. And I was just like, wow. Like, finally, I found someone who, you know, really gets me and who really, you know, wants me to be happy and find something that does. And he really did, like, and he still does to this day. <laughs> like, well, every time I go to Walmart, we always, like, go down the toy aisle just to kind of see what there is, like, um, especially for dolls, and he'll help me, like, look for them, and he even gets excited with me. So it's just really fun to like do it together and enjoy something like this together. And it just makes me feel more whole. You know, I grew up in a small town where it wasn't, like I said, really accepted. And it was kind of like you had to fit in this certain, you know, profile or like a timeline kind of thing to where it was like you graduated high school and then you go to college and you graduate college, then you get married, then you get married, then you have kids. And, you know, there was a lot of people I knew that did that, and that was great. You know, if that's what they wanted to do, that was fine, but it just wasn't for me at the time. Like, I didn't go to school till I was, like, I think 22, 23. I, like, when I got out of high school, I stayed at home for a year, and then I went and moved to the next town over, and I lived on my own and worked. And it was really nice to kind of like, I don't know, build kind of real life skills, I guess. Because like, I'm not saying when you go to college you don't get that. But at the same time, some people were able to just go to the dorms and, you know, maybe not worry about having to pay bills. And um, it was kind of nice to learn that in life skills and kind of help me with other jobs because they're like oh wow like you've worked at a lot of places and you got a lot of experience and I'm not saying you know it's for everybody <laughs> you know but it that's just what helped me and I still haven't finished college maybe one day I will um, I just didn't want to keep racking up the school loans <laughs> up the yang yang if you get my drift <laughs> and so I just began to live life and kind of do my own thing and like I didn't get married was it like till I was 29 yeah I think yeah 29 we just went to the courthouse and got married because you know we didn't have enough money for a wedding and so you know I'm just saying if you're watching this um don't be afraid to do your thing. You might not follow into what everyone else expects out of life, but that's okay. Because, you know, maybe you're not meant to do that right now. Maybe you're meant to do it later, or maybe you never do it. But, you know, if you want to feel like you have to follow everybody else, then you're not going to do yourself justice and be happy. You're going to just feel like, oh, I'm just doing it to do it, and that's not how life should be. Life should be about enjoying life in general, from the smallest things to the biggest things. And if you are someone who's like around my age, or maybe, who knows, maybe in high school, maybe older, who knows, whatever age you are, it is just a number. And you can love what you want to love in life. If you want to collect My Little Pony, and you're a guy, you know, totally embrace it. It's cool. Doesn't make you less of a guy. If you're a girl and you, 
you really like sports, go for it, you know, just because, you know, in society, it's not what people want to see doesn't mean that you can't do it. There's nothing saying girls can't like this or guys can't like this. Nothing set in stone. It's just, you know, what society has created and we fall into. Um, also, um, as I'm wrapping this up, I just want to say there are some YouTubers out there. Uh, when I was starting to um, fall into this being a kid at heart and really embracing these things, I would watch them and the things they would say would really help me to go, it's okay. You know, you want to be yourself. I'm, you know, this age and I like this and I have this and, you know, it's okay. And so for those YouTubers, if you're watching, um, I just want to say thank you. This is towards the Mommy and Gracie show, um, Dollastic and DX, I think, DXY Girly. Sorry if I butchered it for you. <laughs> um, likes toys. DX Girly likes toys. I believe that's how it goes. And so I'll put their links down below if you want to check out their channels and see the content they have. It's really fun and it really helped me and still does to show it's okay to love these things at whatever age you are and especially if you're a girl, even if you're a guy you can like these things as well. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more vlogs from me on my 365 day vlog challenge. And until next time, bye.